So this morning we are at the Outback at Pfizer and we're going to do a mine tour underground. <laughs> and he's got his feet. And there's a fossil centre here too, which we might have a look at later. Let's see what else there is. It's proper lead zinc silver. It's all shiny in it. I think that it's more just effective for the mine copper than gold. Roll that button in. Push it in. Two hands. Real hard. The right. big holes in the middle and they're called voids and they never get any explosives in them. They're a pressure release basically so when the blast goes off all the energy goes into the middle and cracks the rock. Around the outside there's holes drilled all over the place. Very specific pattern and there's holes up along the sides, holes along the roof, down the side and then there's where these polypipes are there's explosives or holes drilled in each of those. Anywhere in the mine where there's a green light is a place of some potential safety is a, or a fresh air source. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Really? Wow. Good surveyors. These guys surveyors come in and they just hang. done our mine tour and now we've come into the Riversleaf Fossil Centre to have a look around. Number nine is a kangaroo jaw. Little teeth. Oh, 
Controlling the bird. What's another one you can scan? This is some really cool copper um, that's all oxidized that the miner from at Mount Isa let us keep. Driving around Mount Isa, having a look around. That one is the copper smelter and that's the lead one that they don't use as much. Lead, what was it? Lead, silver, zinc? Yeah. Lead, zinc, silver. They use the copper. They don't chase lead here anymore apparently but they do smelt it. Driven up to the top of well, the highest we can get up to at Mount Isa. There's the mine and there's Mount Isa City and there's the power station and we're not sure what this is. We've found the actual lookout now we're on the other side of Mount Isa See the mine from this side. We just came, we had our mine tour down here. had our mine tour down in there, that block, where's my hand, ah there it is, so that block there is a couple of k's of, well, a few hundred meters of all the mine shafts down there that we were just in, it's pretty crazy to think it's just in the middle of town. We've had our two nights at Mount Isa and now we're heading to Richmond today. I'm going to stop at the Mary Kathleen Uranium Mine at Ghost Town, I think Cloncurry, Julia Creek, and head into Richmond. We're standing in the post office. And everybody sold it! So this is the town of Mary Kathleen. When the mine finished, they auctioned off every building and all the fixtures and everything and they've just left literally slabs here and you can come and stay here for free. It's quite eerie. This is the old fountain. Over there is the canteen. Cafeteria. We're driving up the old road from Mary Kathleen Township into the uranium mine, the abandoned mine. It's the old Richmond Road that's full of potholes. Trying to find a geocache around here somewhere. Let's see. Jane found it! What? 
That's pretty cool, a geocache at the uranium mine. Pretty cool, hey. Do you see the water? Now that the sun's starting to hit it, it's going really greeny blue. It's like driving on the Mount Lindsay Highway. Big truck. Lots of road trains coming into Cloncurry. Stopped at Cloncurry to have a look at some cool stuff. This is an ambulance on a train track. big drill rig. It used to work in the mines. It's one of the first ride on mowers. What was the second one? This is our piece of flora from Mary Kathleen. Oh, your spider is huge. Let me see your butterfly. Oh, that's pretty. I don't get a spider. Yeah. Free camp at Richmond. Five bucks a night. That's pretty big. I'm set up this year. Here's the toilet signs. Prehistoric. And the men's one. Historic. Found a local playground. <laughs> Doing some craft. And we're all freezing because the temperatures hit 20 degrees. <laughs> It's cold compared to the 32 we were in a few days ago. And I dug blue. Oh, let's see what you're doing. That's pretty. That's cool. James, what are you drawing? Oh, a dinosaur getting ready for our fossil hunting tomorrow. That is cool. We've come to do some fossil hunting, hey? Yep. We're out at Richmond. In fossil site one, we're going to try this morning, and then we'll try fossil site two. And there's 14, 14 degrees. 14 degrees, yes it is, it's chilly. Now we need to find a place to dig. Okay, 
So according to the lady at Kronosaurus Corner, these are like um, squid bones. They are from ancient squids. They're really hard. The squid, obviously nothing's left of the squid, but they have these bones inside them apparently. All these shiny things are all fish scales and parts of fish. Uh, we've got bits of old shell and old like um, pippy looking things. And then apparently that is a fish jawbone. And we left Richmond and we're now in Hewenden. And this is the Flinders River. It's very dry at the moment. Another Barasaurus. Mutt. A Mutabarasaurus langdonare herbivore. His nickname is Mutt. We stopped at Hewenden and saw the Mutabarasaurus in the museum. And now we're heading down closer to Winton. We're going to stay on a cattle farm for the night. driveway of the cattle station that we're going to stay at. Shearing shed. We've got horses and sheep, goats, 